Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Showcase update video here on the channel. We are back again with the Narutoto Mod Ninja World. It has updated to version 0.1.7 for Minecraft 1.20.2 and has added in a bunch of more content to the mod, even more so than last time. If you guys are excited for this update, consider leaving a like, subscribing if you do, and let's get into all the new changes and additions within this mod. Be sure to also leave a comment on what new feature is your favorite. Let's do this. So the first thing that has been changed is the NPCs have all had combat ability improvements. They now have the ability to dodge, use the substitution technique, throw shuriken and kunai, which all of that also you will be able to do now as well. The upper limit of the ninja experience has been raised to a thousand. So I don't know what it was before. I think it might've only been a hundred, but now it's a thousand. We have added the new weapons, the shuriken and the kunai. They do not have crafting recipes and the kunai does four attack damage and it also can be enchanted, which is really nice. But here's the coolest thing about it is you can actually throw them. Look at this. It even makes the sounds. Villager, villager, look. 12 damage to the kunai is crazy. All right, what about shuriken damage? Villager, villager, look. It does, that one does like seven damage. That's crazy. Literally a two shot to villagers, these weapons. That's insane. You might also notice a certain other weapon, which I'm going to go over soon. Do not worry. But other additions, we have a new merchant added into the world. The NPC known as Ten Ten. Yes, Ten Ten is so useful. She's the merchant now. So here she is. Her name is a Japanese still on my damage indicators, but she has 250 health and 15 armor bars. If I right click her, you will see that she trades copper coins and silver coins for other items. You can transition the silver coin into 10 copper coins, or you can buy three shuriken for 10 copper coins or one kunai for 10 copper coins. It's really nice. I'm not sure you get the coins yet, but there has been loot added into the villagers that spawn in the world. So I imagine you'll just be finding them in your world. But yeah. 1010 is really cool, and since they now actually have added drops to the uh, the ninja, I want to kind of murder her and see what she actually drops. So, wait, back up. A few moments later. She didn't drop anything. Okay, okay, I understand. Let me go in survival. Let me switch to Sasuke. Sasuke. Now that I'm a revenger. <laughs> Let me go back into creative mode, grab 1010, and fight her for real. So I haven't actually used Sasuke before. I'm used to using just Naruto. But let me go and survive one and actually try fighting her. So the fireball technique, I believe, if I remember, is four. Oh, wait, no, that's just a switch. Uh, I missed. Hey, 1010. 1010. Okay, she does fight. She does fight. Good to know. Alright, let's do it, 1010. Let's do it. Substitution technique. Oh my gosh, the logs actually dropped. Okay, she killed me. Okay, 1010. I get it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should set the world spawn over here. What am I doing? So she does fight back. She's not just an NPC you can bully. Like, like she's not the merchant type that you can just bully. She does actually try to murderize you, which is, you know, horrible. But that's 1010 for you. Pretty strong. Again, just as Sasuke himself, I, I wasn't able to do much. But we all know 1010 is the strongest ninja in the ninja world. Uh, I'm going to set world spawn here just so I can just respawn back here if I die again. Next up, other than 1010, as you just saw, the substitution technique has been added. We can all use it. It's actually in your controls. If you go to keybind, scroll all the way down, you'll see substitution jutsu is now 6. So again, if I'm in survival and I hit 6, you will see the log has been activated and has a timer. Which means while that is activated, any damage you would normally take, you will substitute away and you'll be perfectly fine as you saw both me and Tenten expressing in that fight there. So that is the thing. It does use up chakra just like anything else, but keep in mind it's good to have on you and it's good to keep tagging in case you think you're about to die. Just keep activating it. But keep in mind it does use up 100 chakra every single time. Other than that... We have the new NPC known as Minato Namikaze making his way into the world. Here he is, 500 health, 25 armor bars, and it looks like he is in his his regular like uh, Hokage outfit. He's not reanimated or anything, so that's the thing. I should also for I forgot to mention that this is heavy spoilers. If you haven't watched Naruto, as I'm assuming you've watched at least up to Shippuden if we're talking about these characters. But yeah, let's attempt to fight Minato. I know we're going to die. 
uh and then we'll show off the cool weapon that he can drop so minato um i'm just gonna i'm just gonna quickly switch to uh yeah we're, we're just gonna do that and then we're gonna... jidori oh oh gosh he fights he fights back he fights back <laughs> i was like he's not fighting back he fought back um what else can i do i haven't really show done much of sasuke wait can i really only do oh i can do kirin will it let me nope you haven't learned that technique amaterasu no i don't know what that technique yeah i haven't learned anything yet susan no rib cage nope nope i literally don't have anything okay i've uh, awakened my sharingan and i'm just gonna cheat order eh, eh, eh. substitution technique oh okay don't use don't use substitution technique when you're in a super flat world you literally just teleport out of the world or he did that to me either way we both killed ourselves so you know i i count this as a win but you guys actually want to see the drops for minato so let me go in creative let me place down minato and let me murder him with some uh, kunai please stand by this will take a minute a few moments later before i kill him you cannot use things like a netherite sword or anything it only does one damage even if you're in survival so you literally can only kill these guys with their own weapons so just keep that mind if you're doing this in a survival playthrough. Alright, Minato has died and he only dropped two freaking shuriken. Are you kidding me? Okay, well he does have a thing he can drop. And that being his own special kunai. So this kunai is not craftable. It cannot be enchanted. It is something that only Minato can drop. And when you use it, you literally will teleport. It is just like his flying Raijin technique. However, you can do it, of course... Even if you're trying to murder 1010, you can see teleport right to them. You can deal damage with it, but it's primarily going to be used for you just to teleport around with, which is a really cool thing. I should also mention that if you're in survival, it does come back to you. So just keep that in mind. You automatically will recollect the item. You do not have to worry about losing it. If I go to hit a target, however, will it come back to me? Let's see. Okay, so it will come back to me even if 1010 is trying to murder me very nice very nice indeed so that is minato and the only other thing that's changed is they there is a current known bug where if you do a clone jutsu uh they currently get confused if there's multiple targets that's a bug that will be fixed on it also tailed beast bombs and spiral shurikens will not damage the terrain and that bug will be fixed also in the future what's it mean spiral shuriken does it mean win the wind style rasen shuriken anyway that that all is going to be fixed in the near future and also apparently all the npcs can drop items now so like all the current npcs within the mod have the ability to drop items i'm not going to bore you with killing all of them but just know that they do have the ability to drop items now i assume it's going to be around the level of shuriken and kunai but other than that let's actually check out the new konoha village in terms of what drops it can have now because apparently the loot has been updated all right so we are at the village if you guys haven't seen my first showcase then you probably have no idea what this place even is but this is the the hidden leaf village it's really nice 10 can 10 10 can 10 10 can spawn here as you can see and i believe minato also has a chance of spawning in the world i'm not sure if he's gonna spawn as like a resident of the village or if he's gonna be like just randomly in the world also this generation is horrible but we're only here to check out the drop. So you can find chests inside the village. And as you can see, you can find the copper coins and the silver coins within some of the barrels within this building. Let's go and see if we can find anything else. I want to see if it actually gives you kunai because those seem to be the most important items. Now, I'm not sure if there's a mechanic where if you steal from the village, if the, the resident Konoha Ninja will attack you or not. I would assume not but we can always test that out in a minute i just don't want to have a whole stampede and ninja trying to murderize me so okay so there is loot here let me go in survival okay i stole from them do they care no they do not seem to care which is good to know and you can of course once again trade with 1010 if you so desire and the loot does seem still a bit scarce so just keep that in mind you're not gonna get a lot of loot from this place and again if i wanted to buy stuff from her i can put in the trading item and i can grab my shuriken so i can murder ninja with really cool other than that that's pretty much it for this update again minato since i didn't see him in the village i'm going to assume he can just naturally spawn somewhere in the world i like this village kind of married with a a regular vanilla village even though the generation again is crazy there's two 1010 in this world which is nuts 
And again, these will just spawn pretty frequently. There's literally one over there. So just keep that in mind if you're playing this mod right now. You have no issue finding these villages. They spawn everywhere. And I still know how to trigger the nine tails. Either way, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, consider leaving a like, subscribing if you're new. And of course, if you want to download this mod for yourself, it would be linked down below in the description. Let me know in the comments what your favorite iteration of the updates are so far. Like, who's your favorite character that got added? And what are you most excited for in the near future? And I hope to see you all in the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Goodbye.